Hello everybody, welcome to the second video of Friday. Got to be honest, lots more content is coming away from the channel. Uh, I, I've got to get a lot of stuff done. But of course, there always seems to be like news and information that we've got to cover that's uh, important. Kind of a big battlegrounds based video that we're doing right now, including kind of information about the meta. We're going to be doing a video, I think I'm going to have it done by tomorrow, which is going to look at some of the best champions for season 11, which information has already dropped. It does have a start point of September 13th. When is September 13th? It is next Wednesday. I mean, that seems like it's logical. It's a bit of a weird thing, though, because we've just received this in-game mail, which we're going to go over in a second, called Matchmaking's Down. Now, I don't know about you, whether or not you kind of have a look at the state of matchmaking in general in MCOC, it's pretty, it's pretty meh, to be honest. I know there's people that disagree with that, but I've seen a lot of evidence to say that it's just not good enough. I mean, here's a great example. If you're facing in Battlegrounds and go, oh, people say, oh, it's a, it's a skin issue. It's always a skin issue. Yeah, so it's a skin issue when you're, you've got rank three six stars against somebody with rank two seven stars. As a skill issue to know that there's going to be a difference in the extent of health pools, damage potential, frustration when it comes to the abilities being amplified, even more so if a champion is at 200 signature and a signature ability is to be very annoying. Like, I don't know, a 200 signature Hulkbuster uh, and you don't have a counter for it. I'm not, I'm not saying that there's, there's obviously different circumstances, but that's what I'm saying is like, it can be seen as a bit frustrating. So, as of the start of next week, you're going to see some improvements with the matchmaking system, as Kabam say here. This downtime will be relatively short, hopefully less than an hour, but you will experience an inability to access alliance walls, battlegrounds, and incursions. It doesn't matter so much for battlegrounds because it's not on. Uh, maybe Kabam just did that just to kind of cover their backs, if for whatever reason it was on, but it was not. There's also going to be that, I think that's going to help improve alliance walls. You know, it's not great. There's a lot of alliances that are, will come unstuck against other ones. Matchmaking in general for that is a bit stinky at times. In some particular scenarios in different tiers, it's acceptable. But in other tiers, it's not. And doesn't really kind of like, you know, fairly matchmake at times. Incursions, I, I don't know. It's a bit of an odd one. But Incursions is back early. If you saw the MCN today, then you'll know that uh, it's back on Monday, which is great. Uh, so that's that's good news. And maybe this is going to help improve things. Uh, for more information, tap the link. Well, I wonder what the link is going gonna, is gonna to showcase us. Um, if anything, I mean, I'm on the forums at the moment, but it's not. I haven't really seen anything in, in general that kind of like says, hey, um, we're going to sort out this stuff with match. There's nothing there unless it's meant to be about victory track and some other info, which is... Uh, the, the the new season, uh, season 11, uh, which is going to start on September 13th, end on October uh, 11th. Now, what we're going to do in the video in a moment is we're going to look at some uh, some results, some Battlegrounds results. going to be very important, very interesting because we've got information of the top 200. So we're going to look at that and how that is uh, changed and fluctuated. So that's going to be you know relevant to all this. I've seen a lot of praise so far for the nodes of uh, Season 11. So for Season 11, you've got uh, tech champions cannot have their ability accuracy lowered. Whenever tech champions gain an armor up buff or inflict an armor break debuff, remove one of the defender's prowess effects. Whenever tech attackers remove a prowess, they gain a fury passive, granting 10% attack rating over 20 seconds. Okay, uh, for the attacker. For the defender is combat uh, deja vu prowess, landing the same type of basic attack twice in a row. Grants the defender a prowess buff, increasing special attack damage by 50% for 10 seconds. Mm, um, that's, that, that could be good. That could be all right. I mean, look, it's going to be mean, meaning some champions are going to be a bit... Well, I wouldn't say going to be frustrating, to be honest. I think it's going to be the usual suspects that are going to be annoying, like Thing or... Uh, or Kingpin, or Sauron, or, you know, just the usual suspects. I don't know if it's specifically going to be anyone in particular. Each time the defender gains a prowess, they gain a non-stacking passive impact charge, granted 20% block penetration for 5 seconds. So yeah, watch out. Um, the watch out for that one. And then going into Gladiator Circuit... Um, is it the same one? Yeah, same one, fully operational, and then combat deja vu, yeah, and then uh, they've got rise to power, 
When the defender is knocked down for four seconds, time starts while active. Each time the defender lands a hit or strikes into a block, they gain 30% of a bar of power. So that's going to be annoying, charging people up. Window of opportunity stun. The defender starts the fight with stun immunity. Okay, whenever they would be stunned, the attack instead is stunned for four seconds. Don't parry. Intercepts. Key. Annoying. Is what it is. But yeah, season 12. Uh, oh, they've even done season 12's meta as well. I won't be covering that in the um, the guide later later on. No, tomorrow I'm going to be posting because uh, it's just the case. We'll, we'll, we'll come back to that maybe at a later stage. No date of the start for it. Uh, Kabam, Kabam haven't put that. But uh, yeah, we'll wait and see with it. Right, now let's go over to some uh, results. So... As a lot of you know, since see these aren't the results, by the way, but it's important to reference this because we need to go back to this. If you remember how uh, previous the previous season went, season nine, it was a case that everybody was doing it because there was no alliance wars. This is why you saw things like position number one, 50 mil points that players were putting up for it. It was a very grindy time, a very grindy season. I felt a little bit burnt out by that season, to be honest, season nine, but I got through it. A lot of us got through it, and we reaped the benefits. But as a lot of you know and knew that putting in at something like your normal amount of points as an alliance, you weren't ever going to get where you wanted to get. So an example, if your alliance fronted up 5 mil, chances are you will not be getting the 1 to 10%. Or, um, sorry, if you're putting 12 mil in, you were getting 1 to 10%. And previous, previous times you were getting a lot more. So we're going to look over some examples uh, right now of of that. So, uh, and shout out to MCOC Avenger. Uh, we, we kind of, you know, we look at a lot of his data, um, you know, that, that they post. So, for example, between seasons, this is the interesting thing. Season 4, 14 mil, place 6th, right? Season 5, 14th place, 14 mil. 13th place, 13 mil. 2nd place, 15 mil. You can see the trend right there. Uh, and then you're going to come to season eight, where first place was 22 mil, and then third place was 20 mil, and then the special nine season, which we're talking about right here, you can see that it went a lot higher. Things went a lot higher. So I expected, and I was hoping to see right at the top that we'd seen a bit more of a balance here, going back to at least a season, a season eight. So season eight was 22 mil. And the results look like uh, look like this. In that, the solo, 1.8 mil. But the first place, 25 mil. Funny enough, 22 mil got position uh, position 9. Uh, sorry, position 8. So it's a bit better. I'm sure a lot of you and your alliances were very, well, I'd say happier than they were last season uh, with what points you were putting up. You know, our alliance put up, uh, I think it was like 6 point something mil and got uh, 1 to 10%. But if you wanted to get in the top 200, which again is like a very important thing, especially for your alliance, then you had to front up. I bet if I scroll, just scroll down rather than kind of like what I was doing right there. Uh, you'd have to get 10 mil. That's not good, Richard. There you go. That's better. That's a bit cleaner. You'd have to get, uh, yeah, 10 mil to, to get uh, the top 200, which isn't ideal. It does mean if you want any of this more spicy stuff, yes, you've got to push a little bit harder to get those particular... Those particular things. Actually, it's curiosity. Let's just quickly go into. I want to see where the battlegrounds is. Battlegrounds Alliance there. Oh no, we put up eight mil. Well, there you go. We're two mil off. Um, two mil off the top two hundred. Uh, a lot of our a lot of people in the alliance did incredibly well to kind of like front up what they did. Uh, but yeah, because it just gives you the. Um, uh, and the thing is, a lot. If I'm, I'm seeing a lot of alliances are uh, very centric towards. This battlegrounds grind. There's even alliances that are named that way. I just saw one called Only Battlegrounds Fans. Um, so you know, there's alliances that have been specifically built for this in mind. But yeah, it must feel like um, it's, it's the case when you're close, and obviously we were we were quite close. Our alliance was quite close to getting um, the relevant amount of uh, of points in the top one, getting close to the top 100. Not ridiculously, but you know, it's like 200th position. It's 10 mil. I don't know how how did your alliance do? You know, put in the comment section. You know, were you happy with your alliance finishing point? You know, what's your what's your thoughts? What I'll do is I'll kind of end the uh, the video here. If you want to go and check out some of the um, information, go and check out the link in the uh, in the description. Um, 
just going to read something here from command what they say now we wanted to equip you with the tools yeah please keep in mind that as the season is over a month away reserve the right to change the meta okay well that's fine but any case thoughts on all these things battlegrounds um, new season uh, matchmaking changes improvements and the results so uh, yes a bit of a battleground smorgasbord of you to check out i've put links in the description to the relevant things that i've referenced who's got the results and information so if you want to go and check out those particular people then it's up to you but in any case thanks for watching check out some other content located on the screen and the next video should be a, uh, a guide to the event quest because i've got to catch up and get stuff out Bye bye